Good morning everybody. This is Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. Uh, Wanda's got craft day today. Believe it or not, she's actually <laughs> she's painting plates. plates. And if you're wondering why she's painting plates and it is like, what time is it this morning? It's like, let me look it's at early. It. it is 6.30 in the morning and we're painting plates. Or Wanda is, I'm not. Uh, guys, my plates. aren't they pretty? Check out this Wanda's yellow plates here. Now we have two or three different color yellows here. It doesn't matter which color yellow that we're using. There is a reason for this. Now, you know, all know that we just built a new greenhouse and the whole inside of the greenhouse is white, the outside's white, everything's white. Makes it beautiful, makes it clean when you go in. So I wanted color. And Wanda wanted some color in the greenhouse. Not, not really. Not really. <laughs> we have color in the greenhouse, really. We have flowers and we have all kinds of stuff blooming in there. And the smell is just awesome, guys. But we have a reason for yellow plates. We are beginning to begin to see a white fly infestation in the greenhouse, which is common. Our other greenhouse had the same problem, but we want to head this one off as quickly as possible. And one of the best ways to do that is with anything yellow. White flies and aphids love the color yellow. Now, the brighter the yellow, the better it is. We had some uh, paint here in little bottles that we've had stored up in the closet for ages. And we always use it for little detail stuff when we want to do things here and there. So we decided we'd take some of our paper plates because guys, we're sheltered in place. We can't go to town and get what we need. So we use what we have and we play at 6.30 in the morning painting paper plates. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these paper plates once they dry and we're going to be putting um, petroleum jelly and just a touch of dishwashing soap on it and kind of smear it all over it and make it sticky. And then we're going to be punching a little hole in the plate up close to the top and we're going to take some of our crocheting twine, we call it tomato twine, we use it for tying up tomato plants, and we're going to be tying them up in the greenhouse around our tomato plants and pepper plants and cucumber plants and all this kind of stuff in order to attract the white flies and the aphids over to it because you know in a greenhouse once it gets to a certain temperature them things just manifest i mean they'll go from being just a few to overcoming it and they leave a a sticky residue behind that literally will eventually the the, the young ones stick to the plants and they'll actually suck a lot of the sap out of the plant and will actually kill the plant you'll see it turning yellow and it will eventually die but what we're what we're experiencing is the small infestation right now starting off because guys look our greenhouse we we have a new thermometer humidity control meter that we got from a company we're going to show you that this thing is awesome in the greenhouse it tells us the temperature in the greenhouse at that present time it tells us the temperature in the greenhouse for that day whatever it reached its hottest point that day it tells us how cool it is in the greenhouse it tells us its coolest point in the greenhouse and we can reset it every 24 hours or reset its own self every 24 hours. We're beginning to see temperatures in the greenhouse for about a 30 to 40 minute period during the middle of the day that it reaches 100 degrees in there. And guys, this is ample temperature for the infestation of white flies to take place. So we're going to show you that temperature control thing here in a little while whenever we actually get these plates dry and get them down there and start putting them up and even though we have a shade cloth on guys yes the deep south is already getting hot so so what is the mixture for petroleum jelly it is it's not really any particular just mixture you just take the touch. plate you just take a plate like this and you just put some petroleum jelly on your hand and you just smear it all over but the you surface. Add a touch of and then you just take a like a few drops of dishwasher liquid and mix it all in with it. Especially if you have one that has any kind of scent to it or something, like a okay. lemon. So then just a drop or two of Just a dish drop water. or two in it okay. and smear it on it once it dries. So that's what we're gonna be doing mm -hmm. once this dries in about an hour. We're gonna give it about an hour. Yeah. So let's go see the temperature gauge. Let's go down and look at the monitoring gauge. All right, guys, we're in the greenhouse here. I'm sitting down by one of my celebrity tomatoes. This thing is just beautiful. It's doing fantastic. I keep the monitor down at plant height because that tells me 
what the temperature is right at the plant height. I don't put it up four or five feet high up in the air or anything like that. I don't even put it down on the uh, ground down here. I try to use <clears throat> uh, I try to use it at the height that the plants is at. Okay, the top temperature, uh, uh, top up here is the humidity. We're at 95% humidity here in the greenhouse this morning. The lowest that it got yesterday was 27 degree humidity. The bottom right here, this is our temperature. It's 63 degrees outside right now. Yesterday, in the middle of the day, it got up to 102 for a particular amount of time. Now on the back of this thing, it has a little leg that folds out here like this you can, where you can lean it up and set it on top of a table or a ledge or something. Or it has a place in the back right here that you can drive a nail or put a screw in and hang it. But it also has a up, down, set, Celsius, Fahrenheit. What these are for, when you hit the up one, what it does is, and I hold it down, it clears the high on the humidity for the day. And it gives me another 24-hour reset. Now when I go to the down button and I push it, what that does is that clears the high temperature for the day and sets it back at what the temperature is right now. And it will monitor it for me for the next 24 hours. It will monitor the temperature and let me know what the hottest temperature is during the day. So this is a jam up little smart tro um, temperature and humidity reader for us here in the greenhouse. It has worked out very well for us. We're going to leave a link in the description down below where you can check these out. Uh, they're a jam up little product to have in a greenhouse. It helps you to monitor what's been going on in the greenhouse. And even if you're not out there, you can go back and look at this and it'll tell you just how hot or just what the humidity was during the day so that you know how to monitor and set your greenhouse up so that it works efficiently. Okay guys, when you're sheltered in place, and you're trying to do things, you gotta improvise. You gotta use what's available. So here in the greenhouse, we also, besides painting the yellow plates, we found that we had a few yellow Solo cups. We're going to be taking these Solo cups and we're gonna cover them with the petroleum jelly and a little bit of dishwashing liquid also. And we'll just take them and set them in the beds like by the pepper plants right here. I'll just come in here and set it between those two peppers like that to control the white flies there. Now over at the cucumbers, we, uh, we're probably going to be using a little bit of a different setup here. These were, when you put these together, these were Venetian blinds I had. These come out of my house. This was an old one. What we're going to do, we're going to take these and we're going to paint them yellow. And we're going to put the petroleum jelly and the dishwashing liquid on it. And we'll come in here amongst our plants like this. And we'll just, we'll stick them in the ground. That way they're in amongst the plants. We'll put another one right here because we have piles of them. We're going to put them around through the greenhouse. Here I have one of my celebrity tomatoes right here. And if you just bump it during the day like right, like right now, you can't see it, but there's little white flies already on them. What I'll do is take this thing and I'm going to stick it right next to the plant like that. And we'll have it there so that the white flies are attracted to it and they get stuck to it. And we're going to put one in every pot that we have a plant in that the white flies love. And we have plenty of these because I've got piles of them. It's just, guys, when you're sheltered in place and you got an insect infestation starting in your greenhouse, you got to do what you got to do and you got to learn to improvise. We're putting the uh, Vaseline on top of our plastic Venetian blinds that we're going to stick in the ground. We, uh, after doing a little research, we found out that some of them said you could use just Vaseline. Well, some said to put uh, uh, dishwashing liquid with the Vaseline. So we're going to do a little of both and we're going to see if one is any more effective than the other is. And guess what Wanda did? Wanda used her candy color. She got red and yellow. You know her. Orange. Or orange. I had to do that. We got to have some orange stuck in here, see? And I'm going to put a dab of this. We're going to find out, guys, if these homemade white flax and aphid traps actually works. 
Okay guys, we got to, out to the greenhouse now. We've installed some of our plates. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a vacation Bible school time for kids, you know, but uh, we got these plates painted and got the Vaseline and dishwashing soap on some of them. Even went up under the tomatoes and down in them and put some of the Venetian blinds down low because a lot of the white flies are down on the lower limbs. So we took care of the lower and the upper on the tomato plants and we move over. We got one of the Venetian blinds in each pot next to the plant so we can just bump the plant like that. If there's any white flies, a lot of times they go straight to it. You just bump them. Out here in the heat of the day, they really fly whenever you bump something other because it's 91 degrees in here right now. We've got a plate hanging on a lemon tree right here next to the tomato plant so that, uh, you know, if there's any white flies fly off, it'll go to that. On the other side over here, you can see we have some Venetian blinds stuck in the ground around those tomato plants. We've got a plates hanging on our walls. We're trying to just stick them in strategic locations back here. We actually took a solo cup and covered it. It was yellow, so we put it down by our pepper plants here and by our beans just as a precaution, experimenting with a solo cup to see how that works. And then white flies really love cucumbers, so we put the plates in here in the cucumbers. We haven't seen any here yet, but we're going to make sure and do it ahead of time. Uh, got one on this side. Got one hanging over here. And we got a Venetian blind in the back back there down low just as a preventative. So guys, we're looking for natural alternatives now that we're sheltered in place and trying to do insect control here in the greenhouse. White flies is always an issue in greenhouses. So we're trying to do it without the use of chemicals. It says, doing the research, that this will work. So we are going to find out if we can curve the white fly infestation and aphid infestation here in the greenhouse by putting up these bright yellow plates and bright yellow Venetian blinds, yellow solo cups, all covered in Vaseline. Some has dishwashing liquid, some don't. We're going to see which ones do the best. We'll just see how it works, guys. The one thing about it is the plates, we didn't use the uh, styrofoam ones. These are just paper ones. So when bees get a lot of insects on them, we'll just have to throw them away and, and get more. But now the Venetian blinds and the cups, when they get completely covered in insects, we can wash them off and clean them up, reapply the Vaseline and dishwashing soap, and stick them back in the ground because they're reusable. So... Let's just see if it works. Stay with us. Continue to watch our videos and see how the outcome of the white flies and aphids end up being in controlling them in a greenhouse. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.